Hey guys, what's happening? So, I want to show you this cool little tool I got. It's called an ESR meter. It's made by Peak. It's been around for a couple of years, so it's not a new tool. Um, but it's definitely pretty cool. It's gonna, hopefully going to save me a lot of time. But it's called an ESR meter. It allows me to check a capacitor in circuit. And that's typically, to me, in the past, has, has always been the biggest nightmare, is being able to, um, you know, check the capacitor in circuit. You know, it takes so much time to time desolder each uh, capacitor. So, let me show you this little circuit thing. I've already taken it out of the box. But, uh, show you this whole thing real fast. It just comes up with a little purple box, a couple leads on it, and, uh, what it does is it sends a uh, 100 megahertz, I think 100 megahertz or some 100 kilohertz signal into the, uh, the capacitor and it reads an internal resistance of the capacitor. And there's a little list here, a chart of what a typical capacitor should be. But uh, pretty cool. But yeah, let me uh, show you what I made for this thing. So um, there wasn't anything online, so I made a couple different stands for this thing couple different desk stands. So if you're watching this and you want to see this or you want the stand, I'll put a link on Thingiverse where I, uh, where I made it. But this was my first version that didn't have the uh, the sides on it. And this is my second version. So let me show you that real fast. So I pop it through here. That way, it'll be on my desk at a 40 to 5 degree angle like that. Alright, so yeah, i put a link on that where you can get that on Thingiverse. All right, so I have a circuit board here, and there's actually something wrong with this circuit board. I can't figure out what it is yet, but I've tested all the capacitors already, so I don't think it's actually a capacitor. Uh, but let me show you how this thing works real fast. Um, so what you're looking for is a capacitor with a high internal reading. I didn't find any on this board, so but let me show you. Uh, I don't I don't even have a back capacitor to show you, but let me uh, fire this up. It's pretty basic. You just turn it on. I'm going to do that big filter pickup right there. And it's not going to give you an accurate cap reading when it's in circuit, but what you're looking for is the ESR. See that right there? What you're looking for is something that's over like one. A one, two, three. And then if you are getting a high reading, like I know this is a... Uh, a Hundred twenty F. So I can look at this chart right here and figure it out. If this thing's out of spec or too much. This is not a hundred percent accurate. You should probably get the values for the uh, cap manufacturer, but yeah, anything it looks like it's pretty much out of range, you just have to like figure it out. But I'm gonna do our cap reading real fast. And that's a good cap right there. And you want to make sure the uh, you test caps that are, aren't in parallel. Because if you test a cap that's in parallel, then it's uh, going to give you a false reading. It's really you're, you're charging two different caps at the same time. <sighs> I'm going to check that cap right there. It's 22 volt at uh, 1,000. Uh, okay, this, this right there. Okay, low ESR. That's fine. In circuit leaky. So it's going to do is it's going to try to charge up the cap. But it's never going to give you an accurate cap reading when it's in circuit. So it doesn't really even matter. Um, so if you want an accurate cap reading, if you want to actually test the capacity of the cap, then you have to test it out of circuit. But the main thing is what I'm looking for is high, high uh, ESR reading. So if this is actually high, then I know there's something wrong with the cap. Um, let me show... Uh, some old caps I have laying around here. This is an old cap. This thing's probably, I've had this thing for at least 20 years. Came in an old test kit that I had a long time ago. 22. Leads on there. So, it's actually pretty accurate. It's a little bit over, but this thing is able to hold 23 uh, microfarads. And the internal resistance is low, so that's good. But I could always confirm with the chart here, like the max value. So that was a. Uh, 22F. And we are definitely way under. So that's good. 
It's a good cap. Hopefully this will save me a lot of time troubleshooting. Yeah, because in most electronics, it's usually the electrolytic capacitors that fail. So... Oh yeah, if they're too small, then it's not gonna... It doesn't work. So the cap is... I have issues with some of these ceramic caps. They're really small. But it'll do ceramic caps, too. Um, Alright, so hopefully... Uh, I have a few different things I gotta troubleshoot, and it's gonna fit. It's gonna be nice not having to take the cap out. To, well, I can quickly go through the circuit, test the caps, and if I find something with a high resistance, then I'll take the cap out and test it. Alright, cool. Awesome tool. Yeah, I'll put a link on Thingiverse where you can get this little uh, stand here. Alright, cool.